Hey guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena and you're watching our video review of the BlackBerry Bolt 9790. We're looking at a device tailored for business users, but those who simply like the comfort of uh, physical keyboards, such as people who send lots of texts uh, or emails, might like it as well. It runs on BlackBerry OS 7 and it is powered by a 1GHz single core processor. First of all, the Bolt 9790 looks and feels like a premium device thanks to its uh, solid construction and the premium materials it is made out of. It fits uh, nicely in the hand and uh, as you can see one can easily reach uh, all its sides without much effort. We are also happy with the volume rocker and the convenience key located on its uh, right side. They are well exposed and pushing them delivers a nice click. Locking the phone is done using this uh, cleverly hidden button located on the phone's top side. The physical query keyboard is definitely among the better ones we have uh, come across lately. Its keys are neither too soft nor too hard and their shape facilitates uh, feeling them under your thumb. Even those who are not accustomed to the BlackBerry trademark form factor will uh, find typing on it quite convenient. The BlackBerry Bolt 9790 has a 2.45 inch uh, touchscreen display with uh, 480 by 360 pixels of uh, resolution, which results in a pixel density of uh, 245 pixels per inch. That makes uh, even small text legible and uh, images look nice and crisp. Besides, uh, the display is uh, bright enough to be usable even in broad daylight. And uh, its viewing angles are uh, nothing to complain about. However, uh, the display does not reproduce uh, colors as uh, accurately as one might want as they lean towards the warm side. What runs on the device is the BlackBerry OS 7 platform, uh, which uh, in terms of appearance is no different from uh, what one would find on the latest BlackBerry models. Unfortunately, the interface leaves uh, a lot to be desired. The whole outlay simply does not feel made for a display of this size because of its uh, tiny icons and uh, small elements. But on the bright side, the 1GHz uh, single core processor handles uh, any task without breaking a sweat. Uh, we did not uh, experience the slightest hint of lag while navigating and uh, application execution was uh, instant every time. Uh, navigating through the menu is done by uh, either using the optical trackpad or by sliding your finger across the touch screen. And uh, having options is nice uh, considering that uh, some might prefer one of these methods over the other. We personally prefer using the optical trackpad uh, most of the time as uh, our thumbs uh, easily cover half of the display area otherwise. The built-in internet browser works uh, well but uh, could have been better. At times, it is slow at rendering pages when scrolling, uh, support for Adobe Flash is absent, and the text reflow functionality does not uh, work as intended, leaving some paragraphs outside of the display area. What is neat about the browser, however, is that uh, you can use the optical trackpad to scroll around. Uh, besides, tap to zoom and pinch to zoom uh, work like a charm. With its uh, 5 megapixel autofocus camera, the phone can take uh, decent photos in broad daylight. Details are plentiful, uh, especially in close-ups, and the exposure is uh, spot on. Unfortunately, the digital noise which is uh, present uh, on the photos is a drawback that we need to point out. Because of it, uh, indoor shots uh, look uh, below par even when there is uh, plenty of light around. The camera can take uh, video too, but uh, only at the relatively low 640 by 480 pixels of uh, resolution. Uh, but at least the uh, footage looks uh, fluid and uh, there is uh, enough detail captured in the frames. The stock music app can do pretty much all that you would expect from one, so you probably won't need to go out looking for an alternative. On top of that, you can use the volume rocker to change tracks and to adjust the volume even when the app is in the background. Another convenience that you get is a search bar that uh, displays uh, real-time results when uh, digging through your music library. The video player could not play back smoothly any of our samples with resolution higher than 800 by 480 pixels, but it doesn't matter that much as the screen is too small to tell the difference anyway. Something nice about the video player is that it supports DivX video formats out of the box. We are happy to say that the ink quality of the BlackBerry Bolt 9790 is top notch. The earpiece easily reproduces queer and distinct voices 
and uh, they don't get distorted even when the volume is turned uh, all the way up. The microphone is uh, just as impressive as it captures uh, clear natural voice tones and additionally absolutely no static noise is present in either sides of the line. When it comes to battery life, uh, one can expect getting a little over 5 hours of talk time out of the phone's battery and that figure is somewhat uh, disappointing since uh, even simpler phones can uh, last longer than that. The 17 days of standby time on the other hand are nothing to complain about. Overall there is a lot to like about the BlackBerry Bolt 9790. It is beautifully designed, it has a nice QWERTY keyboard and it delivers outstanding in-call audio quality. In fact, uh, if you are a BlackBerry enthusiast, you probably shouldn't go looking for a higher-end model as this one would uh, do the same job just fine. But if you do not insist on owning a BlackBerry, we think that it would be much wiser to spend your money on something different. Currently, a Bolt 9790 runs for about $550 off contract, meaning that uh, there are plenty of alternatives to consider. For example, if you uh, insist on having a physical keyboard, the Motorola Pro Plus offers one uh, yet comes with a bigger display and it's much more affordable. And uh, if you need something that would be even easier on your budget, you should check out the Samsung Galaxy M Pro. If you can live without a physical keyboard, however, check out the Samsung Galaxy R, which uh, costs uh, just as much as the Bolt 9790, but comes with a beautiful 4.2 inch display. And uh, if you're willing to spend uh, just a little more cash, the 16GB Motorola Razr will definitely grab your attention with its awesome looks and premium feel. Thank you for watching our uh, video review of the BlackBerry Bolt 9790. This is Nick and if you'd like to check out any of our other smartphone reviews, check out our website phonearena.com.